Ladies and gentlemen, meet the brand new 2018 Chevy Tahoe. And Chevy flew me down here to Texas to test drive this Tahoe, which looks the same as the uh, last year's Tahoe. It's not because this is the RST. RST? It has the big V8. There's no badge. It says, doesn't say RST. No, it really doesn't, does it? So how can you tell it apart from a regular Tahoe? Coming up next, we're going to tell you the 10 ways of telling the difference between the RST and a regular Tahoe. Nathan, there is no RST logo on this towel anywhere. Uh, wrong. I'll show you. This way. All right. They're always on the sides, right under. They're always, they're on the back. On the back. That's where I'd put them. And indeed, here you go. Look, that's it. What? Oh, oh wait. Dude, there are no logos that say RST on the RST. Of course, what distinguishes the RST from the Plain Jane Tahoe is right there. It's what's under the hood. It's the mighty 6.2 liter V8 small block that puts out 420 horsepower and get this, 460 pound foot of torque. And it is paired to a brand new 10 speed automatic transmission that comes from the Camaro ZL1. Now what makes this engine special is of course the fact that it not only has cylinder deactivation, but it also is direct injected. Of course, you can't see any of that, but that's what makes it special. So Nathan, you know why this is important? And that's of course because this is the first time you can get a 6.2 liter in a Tahoe, right? Yeah. You can get it in the Silverado, you can get it in a lot of the other GM products, but right. never in a Tahoe. That is correct Amundo. And it, well, what does it do to it? It wakes up the performance. Remember how I had that Suburban in LA and I had the 5.3 in it? Yeah. That was terribly, terribly slow. This is exactly the opposite. This thing has tons of power. Perhaps one of the easiest ways to tell the RST from the regular Tahoe is just by the grill. It's not what's there, it's what's not there. Chrome, it's all gone. It's body colored. Plus, take a look at the badge. It's blacked out, that's right. Chevy went and blacked out every badge on this Tahoe, giving it kind of that midnight look without, of course, the midnight paint. But look at the black badge, look at the grill, and you'll know you've got an RST in your rearview mirror. Yeah, now GM says it'll do zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds. Yep. Which is, you know, pretty fast. Yes, for a big truck. Yeah, and let's face it, Tahoes have always looked badass, right? They're kind of the go-to movie truck when you want the men in black driving something cool. Well, cops use them left and right. Yeah, and it doesn't cost Chevy a hell of a lot of money to take an engine that they already have, throw some black badges on it. By the way, I counted. Guess how many black badges this has? How many? Six. 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 There's <laughs> four on the wheels, one on the front, one in the back. But look at the one on the steering wheel. They forgot. Yeah, they left this one alone. Yeah. But you know what else this thing has that really does help the performance? It has this 10-speed automatic transmission. Yeah, you know, first came out of the Camaro ZL1, uh, and now, of course, it's in this truck. It was also jointly developed by Ford, you know that, so it's also in the Raptor. But GM will be quick to tell you that they did the programming on their own. Yeah, and they both supposedly have very different types of transmission setups in terms of gearing and all that other stuff. The RST also comes standard with, can you guess it? That's right, Chevy's magnetic ride control. These shocks sense the road something like a thousand times a second, adjusting to every road surface, or at least that's what the Chevy guys will tell you. How does that actually work when you're on the road? Well, only one way to find out. Nathan, let's take it for a ride. Hell yeah! The bottom line is that the RST package also covers performance suspension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the performance suspension is something that um, GM says is, well, let's go over this bump, let's see. What do you think? It's not bad, right? Right, I mean, you know, it's it's not Ferrari, but what right. are you expecting? I mean, what you need to do is you need to get this on a track or get it in an autocross so you can actually see just how much it's helping to keep the thing from wallowing around corners. Oh, hell yeah, and we're gonna do that when we get it to, to Denver. Without yeah, yeah, doubt. yeah we, need, we need to actually give this to Paul. Paul needs to drive this. Yeah, Paul definitely needs to drive this because... With his cute little hands holding the top of the steering oh, wheel and his little head, <laughs> like right here. Just like, oh yeah, he'll, he'll have a great time. You know he's coming to our holiday party. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't watch these videos. That's right. The RST rolls on special blacked out 22s. And what else is unique about those wheels? Look at the little bow tie. Yeah. Of course, it's blacked out. 
If you get the base model version of the RST, it comes with rear wheel drive and it starts at around $69,000. However, if you get this baby, which is the Premier with four wheel drive, it goes all the way up to around $78,000. Let's look at the Moroni here, yeah, because yeah. I've, got, I've got all the numbers here. So this, they don't even call it an RST, you know, and I tried really hard to get the chief engineer to tell me what RST stood for. Somebody uh, in the press fleet yelled out, really slow truck. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that's not nice. I thought it was rally <laughs> sport truck. That sounds better. Race sport truck? I think rally sport truck because GM has used the term rally sport before. Yeah. So why not? Why so not? we're just going to say rally sport truck. Why? Because we're TFL truck and we know. We interrupt this top 10 list for a did you know moment. Did you know that Chevy has now built over a hundred million small block V8s? Well, if you didn't, you know now. I've got the Monroni right here and the base truck is $65,000. That's of course with the 5.3 liter. But when you add in the bigger engine, that's a $2,800 option by the way. So the 6.2 liter, $2,800 for that dude. And then you add in the 10 speed automatic, you add in the magnetic ride control, the brake controller, uh, black bow ties, all that stuff is actually additional money. Uh, eight inch diagonal reconfigurable cluster, which is right here. It gets up to 78,155 dude. That's a lot of money. See these? These are Brembo brakes. They're optional. Six piston. They cover 86% more material, meaning they grab more to slow you down faster. Uh, this uh, entertainment system is uh, 2885. Uh, the front brake kit, the performance front brake kit, guess how much? Uh, $1,100. 2795 Damn, that's kind of pricey. Those Brembo's aren't cheap, dude. No, they're not. Uh, guess how much the RST edition is with the suspension package. So that's magnetic ride right suspension. Control. Okay, so that's going to be $2,500. Close, $2,630. Oh, okay. You know, for such a big badass, this thing's actually fairly economical. Granted, 14 miles per gallon in the city, not great, but 22 miles per gallon on the highway is commendable. Combined, 17 miles per gallon. It's not cheap, but I've also looked at other trucks, uh, and, and there's been plenty that have cost around that much. Yeah, specifically, you know, the one that this competes with most directly is the Durango that, SRT. SRT. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's actually a smaller vehicle in certain dimensions. It is. I mean, this has a third row, yeah. but have you seen behind the third row? There is no room back there. Yeah, you know, that, well, that's the whole reason you'd get a Suburban. Right. So then the question is, well, maybe they'll build a Suburban RST. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's funny because people always want what they can't get. Right, right, of course. <laughs> so that's what the next question would be. I bet you one of our ilk is going to say, hey, General Motors, why don't you build one of those in suburban form? Yeah, I could see that. Good news. This baby can tow. That's right. You're not sacrificing anything. As a matter of fact, it tows quite a bit. 8,400 pounds. What do you think of the interior? It looks exactly like a regular. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. It's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. So here's something interesting, right? I finally got a brand new phone. Hey! Uh, and I got the 8. Uh huh. So it's not the fancy old Apple 10, it's the 8. Okay. But here's the cool thing about it. You can actually charge it just by laying it down. Something that Samsung's had forever, but Apple finally got it. Okay. And look, they have a charger right here. Alright, give it a shot. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't fit. Why doesn't it fit? I don't know. There's not that many eights around, maybe. What did you do to your phone? Nothing. It, they didn't, they designed it so... It One of the fit. biggest car companies in the world isn't going to misdesign you know, something that. for... Yeah, it doesn't fit, dude. No. It doesn't charge. And it's not like this plus size is that rare, right? A lot of people have these. Yeah. I mean, you've got that. You will use it to charge, but same thing, it doesn't fit. I don't understand. Uh, it's, uh, it's a, that's a head-scratcher. Guys, check these out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. These are Borla exhausts. They are optional. And they change the entire feeling of a Tahoe. They make it sound badass. That probably has to do with the big engine as well. How's the sound, Nathan? Hmm. Let's find out. The inside, of course, I think it's nice. I mean, it's not like it doesn't wow me. No, it's it's basically the same thing in a regular Tahoe. I don't see anything in here yeah. that makes it different. Yeah, except and for the heated and cooled seats, but you can get those as well. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's an option. Yeah. Uh, so it's got the OnStar. It's got the uh, small sunroof, which is unusual because today I'd expect you know a much bigger sunroof, but that's because this is the 
current generation. I'm sure next time around they'll be a little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Nathan, I gotta say that is not a classic TFL review. <laughs> no, it's not. But that's because we're gonna take an RST and drive it from Texas to Colorado. And you could bet we're gonna be reviewing the hell out of it. So tell me, um, you looking forward to driving this back to Colorado? Uh, yes and no. Yeah. The, the, the challenge you've set before me yeah. is a little daunting. Trying to get there on less money than it cost for me to get here. Yeah. My ticket was 250 bucks before tax to so, get here. So you're gonna try to go about a thousand miles on $250 It's gas. actually closer to 800 miles. I might be able to make it a thousand. I calculated it again and again and again. I couldn't make it. Turns out that from here, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> barring any extra driving, if I stay on the highway, yeah. it'll be uh, in the 800s. All right, so um, the question, of course, that we're trying to answer is, is it cheaper to fly <laughs> or to drive yeah. in terms of how much money it costs? Now, we're not, of course, adding the hotel room, which is going to take you two days, right? Right. But we are talking about everything else. What the hell did you get behind yeah, this guy again? I didn't do it on purpose. I, I told you, he's like wandering around. behind the drunk he, guy? I don't know. He was wandering around, too. Yeah. He thinks that we're cops. I'm sure of it. That's why he's driving like an idiot. Oh, you think? You think he's afraid? He's going super slow. Oh, Mr. scared fun. the hell out of him. Yeah, I think because I showed up again. Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, blacked out everything. Yeah, it, it, this does look like a cop car from the front. Especially if you get the black one. Oh yeah, if you get the all black one, it certainly does. So we've got more comparison, more off-road, more snow reviews coming. Oh, hell yeah. And you're gonna drive this thing all the way to Colorado? Yes, I am. Thank you guys for joining us for the Fast Lane Truck. This is Nathan. And Roman. We'll see you next time. Ciao.